Hi, I'm Rowan, one of the founders of The Great Christmas Feast, and today I'm going to show you how to make our house punch, Punch Ella Charlie. So this punch is one of the first drinks that I think we got right at the Lost Estate. We're actually still using the same recipe that we used six years ago. Every year, I come back to it, we try variations, we try, you know, upping and lowering the sugar level, etc., etc., and it just doesn't get any better. The origins are, are, are kind of shrouded in mystery, but it looks, it looks fairly certain that punch was probably first drunk in the British East India trade. So you'd have sailors on ships who would have run out of wine and beer, and they would have rum. And, uh, you know, this was pretty rough stuff. They hadn't sort of refined the methods of, of creating rum at that time. So they needed to, um, to add some ingredients to it to make it palatable. They added sugar, they added citrus, so limes, which they used to have in, in abundance on these ships. Sometimes other things to fortify the drink, such as eggs, were sometimes blended in. Although some people do think that the word punch refers to the Hindi word for five, which refers to the, the five main components of a, a classic punch. So that's spirit, sugar, citrus, water, and spice. So let's get into the recipe. First up, we've got 30 mils of rum, 15 mils of a good quality brandy or cognac. This is followed by 15 mils of a good quality peach liqueur, 50 milliliters of homemade tea syrup to sweeten the punch. The spice element comes from two ingredients. First up, we have Angostura bitters. So that's a couple of dashes of that, followed by a dash or two uh, of a homemade um, allspice tincture. So a tincture is an extraction via high strength alcohol of often a spice or a bark or a herb. Um, in this case, we're using allspice and it gives a nice rounded spice note to the finished punch. At the moment, this punch is really too strong to drink. It's, it's quite sweet. It's got lots of alcohol in it. So to bring it down to a kind of uh, sort of a wine strength, um, we're going to add some water. So I'll now dilute this punch with 40 millilitres of water. This brings the punch down to around 15% alcohol. So that would now go into a bottle, into the fridge. Here's one I made earlier. Find a nice punch glass, top with punch. So there you have it, Punch Ella Charlie, a balanced blend of the five classic punch elements. Typically at the Lost Estate, we serve this punch between two people to enjoy together. Punch is a super communal drink and I think this makes perfect sense. This is the punch that I think we'll probably be sticking with forever.